Hey guys, I got a, another video demonstration for you. This time we're going to talk about Key BV. It's a new method to extract Pokemon data out of battle videos. It's an alternative method to the Key Save method. So with this method, all you need is the Key BV program and an SD card reader. So just go into your Pokemon X or Y game and go to your Key Items bag and make sure you have the Versus Recorder you don't get this item until you beat the Elite Four and travel to Kiliad City. So if you, if you haven't progressed that far yet, you're going to need to wait till you have. So go in here and delete all your videos. So you should have no battle videos recorded. Then you're going to challenge someone on your friends list or a random passerby if you want to be mean to somebody. But just challenge someone to a battle and you're going to enter one Pokemon. It doesn't matter which Pokemon, but just make a little mental note of the Pokemon you enter. And on the very first turn, just hit run, and that'll give you the option to forfeit. So then you just, after, you, after you forfeit, you can save the battle video. It'll give you the option to save it. So you save the video, then just pop out your SD card, put it in your computer, and you should see it pop up go into your SD card here it is and you're gonna you're gonna wanna search go into the search box and type five zeros five five D and that should bring up one folder and inside that one folder should be one other folder that's called eight zeros and inside the zero folder is where you'll find the battle videos. So just sort by date modified. And you'll be able to see which the, the newest file. That's the one you're looking for. Now, I only have three files in here. You might have a lot more. But as long as you sort by date modified, you'll find the newest file. Just copy and paste it out. And you'll want to rename this to be like dash one on the end. So you know it's the first video. And then just pop out your SD card, put it back in your DS. And you're going to want to go to back to your Versus Recorder. And you're going to need to delete that battle video that you just made. This is probably the most important part. You need to, every time you make a video, you need to delete that video before you make another one. So delete the video you just made. And then you'll need to challenge someone to a battle again. This time we're going to enter two Pokemon into the battle. The first Pokemon we enter can be anything. The second Pokemon needs to be the Pokemon that we used in the first video. So for me that was Talonflame. So as long as, as, long as you got that going, just go do the fight, you know, forfeit on the first turn and save the video again. And then what then just after you save the video, pop out the SD card, put it in your computer, and search for the 5055D again, and go into the 80 folder, and you should see a file that's named the exact same as the other file you you got before. If it's different, then you probably forgot to delete it before you made a new video. Just copy the new file and rename it to be dash two because it's the second video. And now we can open up key BV. So we'll plug in our video one and two. So video one is the dash one and video two is the dash two. Then you just hit break and then hit the KS button to save the key stream. Now at this point we can go to Video Ripper and choose one of those videos. I'll choose go to the Dash 2 video and go to the key and put our key in and we can dump the data. And those are the two Pokemon that we, we had in our fight there. Delphox and Talonflame. Now you can use this method to find the shiny values of eggs so that you can get them hatched by other people. And 
it's not immediately obvious how you can do that because by default when you battle somebody it makes you save the game but if you go into your options what should be this button right here it's the like pinkish button that has the tools on it there's an option in here called forced save and if you change it to be don't save you'll be able to battle people on your friends list without saving the game so after you've changed it to force sa or to don't save make sure you hit confirm so that it actually changes it and you can just collect some eggs so like I have five eggs in my party here with a talon flame and then after you have the eggs you need to save the game and this is really important save the game before you hatch any of them and once you save the game don't ever save it again because if you hatch some of these Pokemon and then save the game you're stuck so after you save right now don't save anymore and run around and hatch all the Pokemon and once all, once all five of them are hatched challenge someone to a battle and enter these five Pokemon into the battle then you just do the battle like we did before, forfeit on the first turn, save the battle video. And as soon as you save the battle video, on like this screen here, as soon as it says it's been confirmed saved, just pop your SD card out. That, that'll cause your game to reset. And when you reload back into the game, you'll be at the part where you still have eggs. Where they aren't hatched yet. But your battle video will still be intact. So just pop your SD card out, put it in your computer, and extract that file again. And this time I'm going to... I've already done this, and I renamed it to, ty to Tyrant. So i got a file here called you know, zeros, you know, the 03-Tyrant. And if we open up our key BV and open up the Tyrant one that we just made and dump that, we can get the ESV values of all those tyrant eggs that we just did and also we can see all the other information about it as well so that's how you can get eggs you can check eggs without like you have to hatch them to check them but you can reset back to them not being hatched anymore so this method is definitely worse than the key save or mass dumper method not only do you have to hatch all your eggs twice but you can only do six at a time at the most five at a time is the easiest but you, you could do six if you went to the PC and flip flopped around and stuff like that but you know it's it's still nice for people that don't have the option of using the other method you now have a way to check your own eggs without anyone without having to trade your eggs to someone else first so hope that helped you guys uh, thanks for watching